in this tutorial what we are going to discuss how to create the our own task I am going to create executable task what I'm saying I'm going to create my own executable task so that will help me to execute my code so instead of every time going to the jar then hitting Java jar your jar file name can I get one task because gradle is all about what tasks so can I get my own custom task yes why not you can get how see so I have written one task over here see task and my run task and my run so task is the task and my run what you can say my run is the name of the task or you can say code run right you can say code run what is the type of the task is executable so here you are going to say from which thing you want to capture that what is your starting point see I am executing or I am writing inside the root module for the root module there is no package and that's why clearly I can return like this main so what you are going to do is that you are going to hit one command that is dot forward slash gradle space code run that will execute your project right that will easily execute your project just add slash in over here some format specifiers and the slash in over here right okay now we did this thing now let me show you how to execute this task without calling java jar right without calling java jar you can say dot forward slash gradle w dot forward slash gradle w and the name of the task presently you want to execute what you can say root project say code and run it will build and generate the jar and execute the project over here can you see hello world over here so you haven't created the jar you haven't executed that jar directly you created one task and that task is going to be executed so this is an awesome feature from the gradle on the cloud you are not going to create the jar you are just going to hit dot forward slash gradle w code run that's it and your code is running so how this would be happening Hireko cloud how, how, how it work you are just going to give reference of your what you can say git or bitbucket account so it is going to download or clone all the code from that right it is going to clone or the code from that and it is going to build and run the project automatically right this is aw that awesome it is okay now if you want to execute the sample I have already written that task over here task instead of my run you can say code run that can be anything right that absolutely can be anything and instead of this path instead of this path what you can give is that this main java main and this thing com java brush up and over here you can say dot main something like this dot main right com code cool java brush up main okay now let me execute the inner task let me save it and here you can say dot gradle dub dot for forward slash gradle w right dot forward slash gradle w module sample more colon what do you can say code run is the name of the task code run and hit the enter build successful and you are getting the output of the inner module right you are getting the output of the inner module is that fine is that fine so this is all about gradle and executing the gradle tasks how you'll execute the gradle tasks and what are the different different gradle commands 
how you will create the gradle task how you will override existing gradle task that all things we have seen right so in the next tutorial i'm going to explain how to upload this code to the github right and what is github we are going to discuss in the next tutorial right so if you like our videos keep watching